Good morning. We're on my way to my dad's house to give my stepmom her pills and to give her a shower. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We're done from my dad's. We're on our way home now. And don't hate me because I'm beautiful. Okay, we're at Walmart. We're gonna pick up prescriptions and lasagna. I've never been to Walmart this early in the morning. I think it's like 9.30, but it's on the way home and we just wanna get it over and done with. Look how cute that is. We are home and we went to McDonald's and I got oatmeal and I'm gonna have bites of Daryl's yummy stuff. So here's my oatmeal. It's so good. It has apples and yucky raisins and cranberries, but I just eat the raisins. They're not too bad, but anyway, good stuff. Hey everyone, happy Saturday. I'm coming to you live in my closet. Um, it's about 11.30 and Daryl's totally asleep on the couch in the front room. He has trouble sleeping and Ambien doesn't work for him. He has tried Lunesta, he has tried every sleeping pill and every other thing on the planet that the doctor has prescribed and he just can't sleep ever. Um, so we won't even get into the sleeping tests and stuff like that. So anyway, he sleeps better during the day. It's weird. So he's in there taking a nap and I walked in there about 15 minutes ago. I had just got through getting ready and I didn't know that he was fully asleep and I just went in there and I'm like, I don't have anything to do or anywhere to go. And he's all... You know, and he gave me this blank look like I scared the crap out of him and he didn't know what was going on. He's weird that way. Like, If I get woken up, I'm just like, oh, I immediately know what's going on, where I'm at, who's standing there, what was said, you know. But Daryl, he gets woken up from asleep and he's startled. He doesn't know what's going on. It's just weird. I have something in my eye. So, anyway... I thought I'd come to you from the closet just to tell you what's what's up because I'll probably be whispering in the other room or not even talking and then that way you'll know why. It's because I'm trying to be quiet. But yeah, I don't have anywhere to go. We went to Walmart this morning and I picked up a lasagna, just a, a Sam's Choice lasagna. It looked really good. It was $8 and that will be a good change from all the casseroles I've been making and yeah and it'll be a, enough to last for three days something's in my eye hold on okay so on that note I guess I'll chill for a little bit I want to go somewhere but I just don't need to go anywhere or need to get anything it sucks, you know what I mean? It really sucks. Get my iPad. I need to buy more of these. This is my last box.
seriously. Okay, so I came up here really quick. I'm in my spare room on the floor in front of the window. And a lot of you yesterday asked me what this eyeshadow was. And I'm going to show you right now. It's by Bare Minerals. And it's called Bare Skin. And I've had this for a couple years. And I don't know, I just don't seem to reach for it very often at all. Um, I've probably worn it less than five times. It's one of those things that I saw I saw on YouTube and I had to have it. And I really do like it. It's a wonderful one shadow shadow. You know what I mean? So let me show you what it's like. I'm going to set you on my windowsill like when I do a makeup video. So it's very messy if you're not careful, of course. Here's what it looks like. Um, it's kind of a, a tan, mauve, pink, peach in the pot. It's kind of, the sunlight's kind of making it, there you go. And this will last me my whole entire life. A little goes a long way, so there it is on my finger, and I'll put it on my hand. But when it goes on, it goes on kind of rose gold, so that's a really good color for it, rose gold. Anyway, it's on my eyes, and all I did, I just put the whole thing on with my finger. I just put some on my finger, tapped it on tapped it on and then I did the crease with my finger and I don't have anything under my brow bone and it's a nice pigment um, I do use uh, you know an eyeshadow pr or a primer yeah an eyeshadow primer I use sin by Urban Decay it's kind of this color but in a liquid and so that just kind of holds it on all day so it won't crease in the middle. And I actually do put a shadow stick really lightly on my eyelids. And it's just that NYX almond one. So it's super, super light. You can't even tell I have it on. So it doesn't... I got both my cats. I got one there and one here. So the eyeshadow stick doesn't even show up. It's almost clear so it doesn't affect the color of this at all. Um, I just wanted a little something extra for it to stick to so anyway I just thought I'd come up here into the spare room and talk about it because I don't want Daryl to <laughs> I don't want Daryl to wake up. Oh my gosh. I'll show you where my kids are. I had you right there. She jumped up on this box. And that's what I've got. Hi, kids. I love you. So, yeah, get you some bare minerals. Um, I can't remember how much this was. It was probably like $18. But, like I said, this will last forever. Here's a better view of it. It's almost true to color in the camera here. So, yep. I love it. I'm going to wear it more often. There's this swatch on my hand. I'm trying to make it so you can see it pretty good. So yeah, I guess on that note, I'll go downstairs and piddle fart. I just don't have anywhere to go or anything to buy or anything to do. It's one o'clock and I've got a couple more hours to go before I have to make dinner for my dad. And the lasagna takes about an hour to cook, so I don't know.
So I was laying down and my elastic broke out of my hair. And so my my ponytail fell down. I'm hungry. I've got to have something to eat. Wasa. So good. So this is what I'm making for dinner. Looks like that. I put a slit in it. And now I need to wrap foil around the rim here, it says, to prevent the cheese from browning. I have to cook this for 75 minutes. Okay, so I guess it needs to look like that. And then after it cooks for 75 minutes, I have to take the foil off and cook it for another 10 to 15 minutes. This ain't gonna take all day. Hmm. I'm almost out of wassail crackers. I think I have three left. And you get me some more. Okay, Daryl finally woke up. He's in the shower. And it's 4.25. So in five more minutes, I'm gonna take out the lasagna. It smells so good. It's totally garlicky. You can smell it. I bet if I ate any, I would get indigestion because garlic gives me indigestion. Fresh garlic. Except garlic powder is okay, but garlic chunks gives me the indigestion. Um, and it looks really good, so I bet you it's really tasty. Way to go, Walmart. Um, and I just made a little salad to go with it. And we're just going to go there, put their laundry away, serve them dinner. And then I think Daryl and I are going to go out and get our own dinner, which I say this every weekend. And every weekend we end up going to Del Taco or fending for ourselves because we're just not hungry. But I, and Daryl and I only had breakfast, and that was at 10, 10 o'clock, something like that. So... I'm thinking he'll be hungry enough for dinner. I don't know where we're going to go. And that's another thing. We always never know where we want to go, and then we end up going nowhere. We're on the road to nowhere. So yeah, I was laying in bed, of course, and my little rubber band broke in my hair. And so look what it did. It totally made it curly and cute. I should try doing that every day and then taking it out after a few hours and then my hair will be all curled up here and full of body up here. Okay, so here is the lasagna. Looks really, really good. Smells really, really good. I'm sure I'll have to take a bite. We're on our way to my dad's and I didn't bring a jacket and it's starting to rain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's in the Sunday school class. He's teaches Sunday school. In the oh board. my goodness, uh-huh. He does? No. You done? You waiting on me? Yeah. Was it good? Yeah. We're at Chinese. <laughs> Got corn. corn. You some? Hot Mongolian beef, shrimp. I've got fried rice and pan pan chicken. 
I'm so full. You will conquer obstacles to achieve success. We are now on our way home and we are full. It was so good, you don't even know. I brought leftovers. Welcome to the closet, everyone. It's 7.30. Just got home from dinner. It was so good. We had Chinese food. Mm. It was the same Chinese restaurant that I took my mom to the other day, and we got takeout for her and my stepdad. Um, it looked so good, and so I told Daryl about it, and so we decided to go there tonight, and it was really good. And one good thing about it is it was nice and cozy in there. It wasn't freezing cold. Um, because the place is little, and so people are always walking in and out. And when the door opens, you know, the draft comes in. But the heater kept me nice and warm. And can I just tell you, I am so full. I am so full. I had pon pon chicken and ham fried rice and two cream cheese wontons and egg drop soup and that was my combination meal and then Daryl had oh did I say ham fried rice? I don't know and then Daryl had white steamed rice and Mongolian, Mongolian beef and fried shrimp and soup and he had a coke, I had iced tea it was just so good and he ate all his, but I brought some of mine home. And I was like freaking out because the iced tea was so good. Sometimes I go to restaurants and their iced tea suck. Poo. But this one was like, yeah, who? And I drank two glasses just like, because it was so good. And now I am miserably full. Half of it's iced tea. Ugh. But anyway... It's 7.30, I can't believe the time. It just flew by. We went to my dad's at five and we stayed, got them fed, put their laundry away, and then waited for them to finish eating and wash the dishes and whatnot. And then we left and so I just didn't realize how late it was. It's been raining all afternoon. It's really chilly and yeah, tomorrow we have to go to church in Provo, um, and I hate driving to church that's far away in the rain, because you don't know what dress you need to wear. You need to wear something nice, or something that's nice and long, not so short, like something that's going to be warm, you know what I'm saying? So I have one dress in mind and it comes with a denim jacket. It's really pretty. I got it from Coldwater Creek a long time ago. It's so pretty. It's casual yet long and well I'm short so everything's long on me and I can just wear I'm just gonna I always wear these ballerina flats with it. These are so old. I got these at Kohl's. Um, you know, the shoes that hang, they're not displayed. They're like hung with hooks on a rack. This is what these were. And these have held up fabulously. They look pretty much brand new, except for this little scuff right there on my right heel. And that's because I drive. 
So I'm just going to wear these and it's supposed to be in the mid 50s tomorrow. So I hope I don't freeze to death. But anyway, it is what it is. So tomorrow morning I have to get up. Daryl and I are going to go to my dad's house by, be there by 8.30 or before because they have to go to church at 9. And I want to make sure my stepmom brushes her teeth and I want to make sure her hair is combed. So, and we have to give her her pills. Anyway, that's the plan tomorrow. Just a bunch of church, so, and driving. <laughs> Provo is about 40 minutes away from here on the freeway. And I guess if we speed, we can make it faster, but we don't quite know where we're going, so it's going to take us a little while. Anyway. I am very sleepy. I am going to take my shower and get my jammies on and go to bed. So yeah, it was a great day today. Thanks for joining me and thanks to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate it. Um, the last few days have been really exciting to see all these new people hop on the bus with us. So I just wanted to thank you, and I just hope you stay and enjoy yourself. We all have a big party on my channel, don't we all? Can you feel the party going on? It's always a party, especially when I'm in bed. Okay, that sounded wrong. For all you newbies, I like to chill out in bed a lot. I am always in my bed, whether it's under the sheets watching TV <laughs> or on top of the sheets watching TV. <laughs> oh, I even have a cute nightgown that my friend Erin gave me and it says stay in bed. So that's what I do. Anyway, on that note, I shall see you all tomorrow. Have a happy Sunday, everyone. Take care, be safe, and we'll talk to you soon. Goodbye! Mwah. What are you doing? What are you doing?